Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going through all my completed pages and artwork from June. So this month I've had a hashtag running. It was hashtag Kirsty's Birthday Animals 2023. So I've coloured quite a lot of animals and I've painted some animals. Um, all your pictures that you've entered into that hashtag, I will be compiling them all and popping them in a video which will probably go up around the 1st or 2nd of July, something like that, possibly the 2nd. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. So one of the pages I coloured was this little cute bunny. So this is a um, PDF you can purchase from Mariola Budek. I got this one off Etsy and I just printed it out onto some, this is actually the Nina paper um, that Colour Me Stress Free gave me to try out and it's really, really nice actually. Um, I used the Derwent Lightfast pencils on this page if I remember correctly and they worked amazing on this paper. Um, I did do a little bit of this on a video I think or did I do it all on video? can't quite remember i've just finished to colour along in fragile world so my brain has just gone now but yeah the background was the renaissance watercolor it's nice and shiny when it hits the light you can see it's metallic i thought that would look nice as a it's almost it's a bit subtle but it's not in, in a weird way but i think the color of it really goes with the page because it's as though he's in a field somewhere a green field if you can hear traffic, I'm on a busy main road, so I apologise for the noise. But that is this one. I'm not, I'm, I'm in two minds about this one. I don't, there's something about the nose I don't like. If you, you remove the nose and I did the nose again. <laughs> I don't know, I'm being fussy. I'm being fussy as always, but that is that one. Next up, I did a page from Colour Edge Wild 6. This was a kind gift from Colour Me Stress Free for my birthday. She did send me another one as well, another Colour Edge Wild book that's got animals in it as well. Um, but the page I picked to do was this one, and I did actually do a skin tutorial on this one, so if you're interested in that, it is on the channel. So it's, it's listed as something like um, how I colour fish skin, something like that, it will be on there. Um, and basically I did her the same colour as I did the fish so she's sort of fish girl and then because those colours were so so bright I didn't want to give her a hair colour that was gonna get lost in the colours of the fish and the face so I went for something subtle and it was like grey and then a bit of a cream colour cream sort of colour I think I used the Derwent Chroma Flow on this if I remember rightly as well and they work really really well on this paper really really well really good um eyelashes I went for a dramatic eye there's a story behind why I went for a dramatic eye um and that's because um the Derwent Chromaflot are a very very soft pencil and as you'll know soft pencils aren't the best for small details for fine details so her, her eyelashes, when I started off, they did start going a bit smooshy and I thought, hmm, they're looking a bit dodgy here. So to fix it, I basically had to go on full dramatic. So that's what we went for. I popped a bit of white gel pen detailing in over the top and that's her. That's her done. I think, what's the next page in this one? That one. Another fish page with some corals, coral reef of some sort. The gorgeous books these i love them i'll you know until i get through every book that's out by emmanuel colin in this collection i will never not have one of these books on the go i've completed two of them already started on this one so let's see where it takes us color edge world six by emmanuel colin i'll try and link all these books in the description below if i can find them and they're still available Next up is a page from Wildflower Folk by Christine Karen, and again this was another gift from Colour Me Stress Free. She's been super kind sending these for my birthday. So this is a gorgeous book as well, it's available on Amazon and the page I did, you might have seen it on Instagram because I did pop it up on there, was this one. I also did a skin tutorial for this one as well and it was using the Polychromos pencils on this page. So if you're looking for skin colours, skin tones, using polychromos, it is up on the channel. Um, I 
did try to copy the colours that Christine Karen used herself. So if you go over onto Christine Karen's Etsy store, she'll have a coloured version and then a regular version just to show you what they look like. And um, I imitated all the colours she'd used on hers and I love it. I love how it came out. I just think these illustrations are just stunning absolutely stunning and i really love that the grayscale as well because i find that a lot easier to color grayscale because there's no guessing about where your shadows are or anything like that they're already there for you so you just you're just coloring over the top basically and it always i think they always have a much more beautiful outcome with a grayscale coloring page well that's it that's a close-up i did leave the background the background was pencil I did leave that more textured. I didn't want to blend that in or burnish it. I wanted it to have that textured look to it. So that's that one. I'm gonna be picking another page to do a colour along out of this book. Um, not sure which page to go for yet, but once I've picked it, you'll know, cause it'll be on the channel as part one of the colour along. So there we go. Wildflower Folk by Christine Cannon. Next up is a page from Ken Matsuda. Now you might think it looks weird. It's because I've taken the dust jacket off. The dust jacket on this book flaps about uncontrollably. It's always like the book's always hanging out of the dust jacket. So I just took it off. And that's why this is all black and white now. On the actual, you know, front cover, it's all coloured. But it was really irritating me. So I was like, that's coming off. That's coming off. So the page I did was this one. I think this was the first page I did this month actually it might be and um what color derwent chroma floor i used on this one i think it, yeah it was the derwent or was it the light fast might have been the light fast pencils actually yeah it was the light fast pencils got getting confused i've got that many pencil sets now i'm like which ones did i use i need to start making a list um watercolor background and i love this one it might be my favourite page, along with a Christine Curran page. This might be my favourite. <laughs> Lots of gel pen detailing in on this one. And with all these pages that I've done in Ken Matsuda's books, I've always gave the little animal a name. So because there's two little sea turtles on this page, predom predominantly it's like a sea turtle page, I named them Terence and Tia. So there we go. Terence is the big one, Tia's the little one. <laughs> sad on that but i do that with all the pages in here see that's stanley we've got good old stanley there we've got frankie <laughs> oh dear yeah but i love that page love it absolutely love it there's nothing else i can say about it apart from lots and lots of gel pen detailing in on that one lots of gel pen detailing in so that's Ken Matsuda's book. Someone was asking me where I got my copy from. Now, I did originally get this from an Etsy seller called Stationery Corner. And the Etsy store has been listed as on a break or something for about 18 months now. So I'm not sure what's going on. But you can get it from other sellers on Etsy, but it's not as cheap um, on the shipping. Whereas... I got cheap shipping from that Etsy store, that particular one, but unfortunately it isn't there anymore. Next up is a page I've only just completed. So this is the page I've just done a colour along with and I have just, well it's exporting at the minute, um, part three of this colour along. So it is up on the channel, part one, two and three um, and it is the Kangaroo Done Arts and I can never find the pages when I tag it on that side. On the left hand side i should have tagged it on the other side but here we go let's get let's flip him over and these are the kangaroo donuts really like how this page came out i really really love the the look of the fur on these little donuts the background when you watch part three you'll know i was getting bored of this background it's super tedious um you'll know if you've ever done one of these backgrounds or maybe it's just me but finds it tedious but coloring rocks and back I just it's just one of those things where I'm just like mm, not into it and I was wishing it to be over <laughs> basically but this is a distress ink all at the top half of the page um very quick and easy to to fill a background space with distress ink it's really really good really good 
Um, I used the Polychromos pencils on this one. So it was a limited colour palette. There was lots of greys, lots of brown ochres and a little bit of earth green, which you might be able to see there. Um, but yeah, I love it. I love the little eyes. I think the, the eyes look realistic, <laughs> I think. We've ever done the little dots in the eyes because I did pull off a reference picture off, um, let me find it. I did pull off a reference picture off Google. So I was working with this and you can see the little reflections in the eyes. They just make them look super cute. So I thought I'm going to do that on mine and do little teeny tiny reflections in the eyes and it makes them look like glass, doesn't it? It's the eyes look like glass almost. But yeah, I do really like this page. I just didn't like colouring all the background but you can't um can't win them all <laughs> but that's that one and that's all the coloring pages done like i say i didn't get as many coloring pages done this month i've had a lot on but we'll get into the paintings now so if you want to stay tuned i have three paintings to show you pop that to the side noisy traffic outside today i don't know what's going on so the first painting I did this month was this one. Should I bring you in a little bit now? Because I think we're a bit far away from the camera. So this one was a little sunset scene. And this gave me some jip. This gave me some jip, this painting. I repainted it about three times. So I initially thought I was going for a brighter sunset. Um, and then didn't like how it was looking. Painted over it started going horribly wrong again so then i painted over it again and this is what we got so sort of a sunset over water and then this i wasn't sure what this was <laughs> i was just painting as i were going along and i thought yeah i'm gonna paint like some sort of rock in the water with some sort of walkway going up it i don't know i really don't know i'll be honest but that was that one <laughs> sunset and then Following on with my hashtag for the month, um, with the animals, I thought I would try my hand at an animal. And I went for an ostrich because I think these guys just look so comical, especially face on when you look at an ostrich. They're so funny. And I just wanted to go for it. And then I thought, how can we make it look even more right there? And I thought, let's flick the eyelashes out really long. So... This little guy or girl has got really, really long eyelashes, but I thoroughly enjoyed doing all this sort of feathers. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. So there's what the detailing looks like close up. It was time consuming, but I was enjoying it. I was so enjoying it. And I love these ones. I think I'm going to continue doing quite a few animals on these Pantone cards because I'm really enjoying painting them. So that was one and two. And my last painting was this little guy. He's so cute. He's my absolute all time favorite painting to date. Um, I'm on 20, was this my 25th painting? It's either my 25th or my 26th painting. There's a hundred of these Pantone cards. So I'm not even halfway through them yet. So any animals you can think of, I am doing a lemur next. I have prepped the card for to do the lemur, but I've just not sketched it out yet. So fingers crossed I can get that done soon. But yeah, it's going to be a lemur next. I was going to do a red panda, but it's the same sort of colourings as this one. I wanted to go for a different colour palette next. So I'm going to do the, the lemur next and then we'll we'll see. But they're, they're the three paintings of the month. I really love him. I think he looks... It looks so cute. I, I can't tell whether it looks content or whether it looks sad. I don't know what you think. Comment down below whether you think it looks content or sad. I can't quite tell, but his eyes just, it, they're giving off a feel, aren't they? They're giving the feels. So thank you so much for watching. Please do hit that big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.